Hello, Reduce. Are you going to breed that dragon? We're loading. Oops. I'm going to give it a second to try to figure out what it's doing. It's quiet here. How was work? <clears throat> All right, we're loading in. So, oh, did I already transition? Let me see. I did. Okay, good. Oof, let's see if my computer can handle this. Oh, Reed Dragon there it came through. Oh dear, it's so cute. Aw, Reducey. Look at it, it was cute and what did you do? <laughs> it looks like an angry old man. Yes, it does. It does look like an angry old man with the measles. <laughs> Hello, Zeus. Oh my gosh, apparently I have a driver. I, we're gonna try to play without the driver, but nothing's loading. Nothing's loading here. Let me try to focus on the game. Maybe it'll actually load. How are you today, Zeus? It's morning for you now, right? How early in the morning is it? Is it still like 5 a.m.? 3 a.m.? Have you been to bed yet? You crazy man. You know what? I, I stay up until 11 and I wake up like I have a hangover. I'm like, oh man, I overdid it. <laughs> you've been to bed? That's good. At least you've slept. What are you up to these days? Uh, let's see. Oh, we do have a quest here. That's why I'm here. Um, I actually had a really cool outfit. Oh, these are my these are my glasses. I have some cool glasses. Hang on, let's see. Went to bed really early. The first descendant. Oh, that was a fun game. I uh, I've gotten to like this second area i think i think we're almost on the second area we were trying to we like i played a little bit and then we were trying to get everybody else caught up and then sometimes other people would join on and then we get them caught up and then by the time everybody was all caught up then last epoch released and i'm playing harry potter so <clears throat> these are my spectacles now <laughs> We're going to keep them since Reducey bred crazy eyes on the dragon. We're also going to have crazy dragon eyes. That's just how it's going to be. Best glasses. You know, but here's the other ones I really like. Watch. I don't know if you've ever seen these. Check these out. I have two other pairs that are really cool. I like these. These are my favorite. But I do also have these. <laughs> Or I do also have like this, but I feel like I'm trying too hard when I wear this, right? And then there's this, and I'm like, I'll just wear these. Yeah, the green ones are better. I like those ones. These are my favorite. They look like cat eyes to me. They're supposed to be dragon eyes, but they're, they're cat eyes. These are most definitely like froggy dragon eyes. <clears throat> have you ever played this game or do you like harry potter at all you made it it's gonna be a lot of talking here so i'll be a little bit quiet but enjoying the view kind of nice that they things. narrate Felt everything it used to be no one has felt safe here since ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there rookwood castle my uncle solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it even after anne was cursed by one of them Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. <coughs> if I'm to cure her, 
I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. Hmm. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Okay, so... <coughs> this way. I've read the books, I've watched the movies... Uh, and now I'm playing the game. I'm not like a hardcore, uh, like I know everything. Used to be a lot livelier. Kind of fan, but I love some Harry Potter. And this game is surprisingly fun. It is a lot of puzzles. My sister should be just inside. Okay. And what I do love though is, look at he's a Slytherin, and he's one of the two friends that you're given. You're too hooked. Up. I totally get it. I get it. Reduce is playing that game a lot too. You two should hook up. Tom was playing that game a lot as well. Sebastian, where did you? Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. Mm. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. Oh, I want that shrivel fig. We haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh dear. Yes, time difference is not. I understand that. One of these days, if I ever go back and finish sorry, it, which I'm sure I will at I some point, I love that game. Though. Oof, I'm really Sebastian. sorry. Not the visit he'd hoped for. It was awkward. Family is There we go. He's gonna leave, so we're gonna I'm snoop. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Go talk to her. Are you alright, Anne? <coughs> you didn't, truly. And I'm alright. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in- I love these serious conversations while I'm dressed oh, like Professor this. Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts. <laughs> But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an Exora. <laughs> Are we gonna win? I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. We won! I've never seen it lose. By what happened to me? And by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Sebastian's made up his girl. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian. And his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Sure, but before I leave, well. let me just check and see if there's anything cool that I pick up in your house. <laughs> oh, I the breed is probably on cooldown. I I don't really know what the cooldown is. But we've determined it's roughly about once per stream. I think it's maybe once per day. Um, but I'm not sure. So it might be something where you might be able to come and redeem it while I'm offline. I wonder what that would mean. <coughs> It'd be like a mystery. I don't know if you can redeem that when somebody's off. Um, dear Ian, Hogwarts isn't the same as Hogwarts. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better. Sebastian. I feel like I am going to help Sebastian find a cure. We're going to kick some booties. Oh, my last nerve. 
Let's talk to him. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. I'm Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Maybe there's something. We're going to be that. We're going to be that girl. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. I know what it is. Giving it's ancient magic. It's cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalist's way. Hope could be. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Okay. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Yep, let's go talk to Sebastian. We're going to encourage him to find a Why cure. Why would he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I don't know. This is this is a tough decision. He was out of line because yes, he was, but he is trying to do what is what a crush. <laughs> he, I'm gonna say he was I'll out admit, of line. I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents. How are died. you, Dr. Barshi? After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's Surviving? more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. Well, surviving is good. Some, as long as you're surviving, that's good. Just keep... are capable of so much more than <laughs> Hopefully things realize. get better soon. They should not be underestimated. <laughs> the anxiety then. Oh, what is this? There's something over here. Oh, look at right here. Rebellion. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, damn it. Hang on. We can do this though. This this is a trick that I learned. Oops, I lost some frames there. Oh dear. That was not. Oh, nope, damn it. Come on. There we go. I got it. <laughs> we lost some frames there, but it's okay. I have a hard time playing this game and streaming sometimes. The computer is holding up, but it is. It's, uh. There. On that plateau, giving me some argument. First, Anne. This way. No, it is. It, it's the surviving the two weeks without me saying something bad to my annoying co-workers and the super. Oh, got it. Rabble. Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Okay. Oh shoot! I forgot I had that. Okay, that was the first time I've ever used that. Oh gosh darn it. We can't do this with dropping frames. Okay. There's one. I think I'm going to have to read. I forgot. I increased my settings. Let me go back to my display settings. Reset default. Oh, I have to hit R maybe. Okay. And that should kind of tighten up our field of view, maybe just a little tiny bit, and maybe help. And let's see. Where are you going on vacation? Are you just gonna? Oh, am I just like in here? Like I'm just gonna like. Oh, 
fun. I will make you. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, all right, we're going to have to. Okay. Thank you, Sebastian, for actually helping. There we go. You've made oh your dear. Last mistake. This is where you will fail. Shut you oh, crud. Okay, that was unblockable. Okay, that was unblockable too. Okay. Ah! That's a lot. There we go. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained. Sorry about that. That was a really bad fight, guys. <laughs> Vacation. Going places costs money. I, uh, You know what? That's fair. I have been thinking about uh, looking for a dark sky uh, sanctuary kind of thing. I don't think that there's technically. There is one, but it's in an area where I really don't think I could afford to stay. Um, <clears throat> but looking for something kind of similar to that. So that uh, we could go out and see the summer sky. And, uh, oops, that's right. Okay. We're on a quest. Let me do that real quick. That's actually really cool, though. That's a really cool uh, ability. I've not used that little dodge before, but I'm going to try to figure out how I can use that. Agree more. My benefit. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, Flames were shooting from the estate before my uncle and I could stop her and rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And? At Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Sure. <clears throat> they seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. So maybe it gets this dark at your place, uh, Marshy. But what I'm looking for is... Um, a long time ago, when I used to come up to Oregon and Washington, when I was a teenager, 
I would go ahead and lay out on the deck and there were no houses around and it would be that summer sky and it where you could see like you could see the Milky Way and you could see every star and it was just it had so many colors and it was beautiful and it was that moment that I realized that that's what the sky looked like and that I'd never really seen it before. <laughs> I had grown up in Southern California, and so it was like, you'd say maybe two or three stars. <laughs> maybe a few more. Go to the mountains, you can see lots of stars, but never, like, never galaxy in the number of stars that I saw that night. And so that whole summer I spent time just looking at the sky and how beautiful it was. And I miss that. So I want to find some place where I can share that with my family because I feel like not a lot of people get a chance to see that. Okay, I didn't pay attention to what she said with the pickaxe. Rebellion. Okay, there's something over here. Whose home was this? You look at the Milky Way with minimal light pollution. That's so cool. Hogwarts professor lived here I'm jealous. centuries ago, but that's all I ever heard. You know, the one thing that would be appealing about living somewhere like Alaska is stuff like that. But Alaska is cold and full of bears. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Well, that's that. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Let's see what we're finding out. We're doing an investigation, guys. Ravenclaw and Slytherins can be friends. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as, as though this was intentional. intentional. <clears throat> there have been plenty of hot summer nights where I've put a mattress on in my trunk. Yes. Rebellion. I am jealous. Hang on. It was kind of glowing yellow, I thought. Okay. Okay, let's try to not use Rebellia for everything. This well looks familiar. Oh, it's got honey in it. Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. I don't even remember. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was- Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. 
It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. <laughs> the point is, it can be feel bad over here. Reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. <clears throat> Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh. A stair why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. I like it when they read to me. It's my second week in the camp. More e arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. I wonder if she started killing Channel people. Entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Yes, you should. Isadora, I think, started killing people. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heart the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with him. Seems these journal entries <clears throat> are in Isadora's troubles. Revelio. Revelio. Let's see what else we've Stuff over there, but how do we just push it? We sure do. You're not going to believe this. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Are we gonna end up going through with Sebastian? Yeah. Up there. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic <laughs> passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Hey. Here we go. Okay, let's go to the Undercroft. I don't know. I don't know why we want to go there, but that's where we're going. Also, I'm not sure how much I can trust Sebastian because he's like questioning me a lot and I feel like All right guy me all in the big guns. I have to belly arm miss you and <laughs> run away. All right, what are we gonna do?
probably running a little bit slow as well because I've got that driver that I need. <coughs> but why would the door lead us here? Well, it's, it's letting me play. Black. Home in the Black Lake. You know, I've been diving in that Black Lake. Piece of a map. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A triptych. A note. Let's have a look. The rune diagram. Okay, cool. I don't know how to read Anything that. In the notes? Rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago. And Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course. But I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did Ooh. not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Till then. Okay, we we've been honest with him, so I feel pretty good. You know, being friendly. Weirdly, I don't get to spend a lot of time with Natty. I've had a lot of time with Sebastian, but not a lot of time with Natty. And Natty was the one that I picked originally. I guess I... Okay. Come on. That was dramatic. Have to get out of the end. Okay, so we're back in Hogwarts. Let's see. We've done a lot of the... <laughs> the different things in here let's take a look at our map and our quest and see what we can figure out what i need to do i think i've got a few of these quests that i can actually complete now um like the mandrake i just need to remember to use the mandrake when i have multiple enemies um i need to practice flying so maybe i'll go do that the invisibility potion I do have that, and I have a Thunderbrew. Acquire and use a Thunderbrew potion against enemies. So I need to remember to use a Mandrake and a Thunder potion. <laughs> and then once I get Wingardium Leviosa, then I can finally finish Cast Pulso on a Levitated Enemy and get Descendo. So, oh, we got some challenges. Let's see really quick. What did I get? I got a new face mask and it unlocked my uh, complete 14. Okay, so in 14 more, I'll get that one. That seems to be the last one. I wonder if there's more because there's all of the exploration, but I guess I'm 40% done with the quest. Oh man, what, what uh, house did you? I do have a mandrake now, see? I have two mandrakes. I stole them. I got them from perfectly reputable me. They fell off the back of a truck. Or the back of a cellar? <laughs> you were Ravenclaw. I hope they don't put this in the second game if people don't hate it 
being live served. I didn't know they were making a second game. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's go to the world map. We've got to go and... Oops! Look at how little I've actually done of this. So I just finally got down here with Feldcroft. But this is the whole... Like, I obviously don't have a lot more up here. I have some more in the North Ford Bog and some over here and some over here so there's little bits here and there but i still have all of this like holy cow this is a huge map i'm kind of hoping that at some point this opens up and maybe this opens but i don't know and i hope that they do make a second game that they uh, honestly, I hope they make it just Whoa. like this because I love this game. <laughs> I've been super hardcore addicted to this game. I literally have woken up in the... Oh, right, right, right. I'm going to go start fighting things. Actually, let's go visit our animal. Room of requirement. Yeah, they announced it, but the details are shaky at best. They already loudly stated the, the mean for the sequel would be live service and the player's work. Okay. Sometimes live service is good, sometimes it's not. In this case, I like just buying the game and playing the game. If they wanted to do like DLC or add-ons or make a multiplayer version, that would be kind of cool. I thought it would be really cool to play it sort of similar to how Enshrouded is. You know, where maybe it's not, like, maybe you can't necessarily... Um, gotta pet my Niffler. Um, it's not like an MMO, but you can still play with friends. Oh, come on. Just go pet them all. Sound like they're tooting over here. I saw another bird. Where is it? There she is. Okay, now you get two. Best job or no of either. Me. You know what? Let's grab this real quick. <gasps> Reducey! <laughs> I think it's better. What do you think? At least it doesn't look like an angry old man now. How's the first descendant? Are you having fun? I'm feeding a puff scheme. Cool that you can get moonstones right here. Okay. You then, you. Okay, who else? I don't think I got this that Jabernal. This Niffler. Did I get everybody? Let's look. I got everybody. We still have room for three more. No, you're tired and aw. Were you up late the other night? Oh my gosh, look at how cute. It's so cute. Hang on, we can rename it. There you go, Reduce. It can be a nip. Oops. Just kidding. Ha ha. You thought. Okay.
There you go. And you stayed at work an extra two hours? That's a commitment. <clears throat> was it worth it? <clears throat> or was it like a mandatory thing? If publishers were more trustworthy with their ideas of live service, I don't think so many would have a problem with it. The greed is too commonly, yeah. Making micro, yeah. You know, honestly, the game that I think did it the best was um, I, Guild Wars 2. I felt like, you know, they, they would sell stuff that would definitely make your life easier to use, like the forever tools. But you bought them one time and that was it. You had them forever for as many years as you played the game. So we used to put some time in it <clears throat> or some money in it there. Yeah, it has a really nice balance, I think. They are uh, getting a um, an expansion. I think it might already be out where they've introduced player housing and i guess it's like true player housing and like totally revamped the um i uh, the decoration system so that it works different not just in your house but in guild halls <clears throat> It was for overtime pay. Since I work at a library, sometimes we are cooling center. Yes. So we stayed open. You work at a library? I'm so jealous. That would be like my dream job. Someday when I retire, I want to work at a library. But you need like a degree to be a librarian, apparently. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, you know, I think I have heard it before, but, you know, I don't know. I forget things. But I'm super jealous. Block knows these things. Like, he'll remember these things. Like, yeah, I told you. He, like, knows where you live and everything, and I'm pretty sure you live in Virginia. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure I know your name, too. But I could just be making it up. The thing is, you could get to know me. I know. Hi, you know what's funny? How long have we known each other now? Because I'm pretty sure it's been over a year. But it might be over two years. I'm tempted to just go get the... I still have some spots that I haven't actually... <laughs> You know, it's just, it comes up. What's your name? Isn't it Oliver? Oh, is it Jordan? Block is saying Jordan. You know, it's funny. I was going to give you a cool name too, like Oliver Love. You got Oliver Love. <laughs> oh, no, don't think Reducey is old enough for that, Marshy. You go by Jordan. <laughs> you feel old. <laughs> I don't even get it. I don't get it. So. Okay. Let me focus on this uh, flying. Where is it? This one. Arrest our momentum. That was a perfect setup, too. Oh, I was right. It is Oliver. Do you? Okay, so here's the truth. If I had a boy when I had a baby, I would have named His name was going to be Oliver George. The best thing, Marshy, <clears throat> my dad's name is Francis, and he hates being called it because of that movie. What movie is it? <clears throat> oh, 
Sorry for the coughing, guys. I've had really bad allergies lately, and it has been kicking my butt. I'm terrible at movies. I don't watch movies hardly at all. Rebellion. So I miss out on a lot of movies. Mine now, demigods. What? Did she say there's a demigods here? I don't see one. Okay. Is it disturbing? Please don't make it disturbing. Oops. I guess you can't go through there. Wow. I feel judged. Oh, it's a Demi guys. I found it. Right. And I think it's about nighttime too. Oh, I can get it now. Yay! Oh, well done. Thank you, Joe. Giovanna Pickle. Oops. Okay, how do I get that one then? Do I have to depulso this? Oh. <gasps> Leviosa out of the way. There we go. I'm finding all these cool things and it's like, yes, but they are all garbage for you and too low a level. Thankfully. There is a, uh, oh. My overlay was on that. Was that a wand that I just got? Did I just get a wand? Okay. Oops. Sorry about the pots. Okay. I've kind of discovered the secret to these. You have to kind of slowly oops, go back and forth until you figure out where it's moving. And if you're not having progress one way, try the other way, because I feel like it's never that far off of where you start. But the first one I did of these, it took me like a good hour. I could not figure that out. I kept going around in circles. I was going too fast. Rebellion. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know what I was looking for. So I was trying to line things up properly. It was silly. I made it from Deadpool. It's the long running joke throughout the movie between Deadpool. Oh, okay. I have not seen Deadpool. It is one of those that I'd like to see. Magical diagram. Yay! There's another... It says it's over here. It is over here. Huh. There we go. <laughs> We're having a viewing night for everybody. That would be fun. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Okay, let's see. Oh, let's ask him. Hang on, we gotta get the rumors. There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an ashwinder. She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Katrin's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. We're gonna kick Catherine's butt. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. It's the standard price. Wow. The price is low enough already, you see. I've heard that joke before. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Wow. Okay. Let me see your what wares, you sir. Sale? 
Just a bunch of garbage, I see. I want my money for garbage. I hope to see you again sometime. You won't. Okay. I think that's just gonna be a wolf. Alright, let's get it then. Oh, it's a spider. Okay, I don't- I'm not sure you're dead. Oh, you are dead. Rebellia. Gotta Revelia when you kill them, because otherwise you're not gonna find their spider parts. Okay, let's go exploring, guys. I know we've got a- I know we've got a broom, but we gotta get into a little bit of trouble. I gotta find a big group of people and throw a mandrake at them. And then, what was the other one that I had to do? What was it? Mm. I sounded like George Bush. That's weird. That's a weird thing. George Bush sounds pretty. <laughs> You gotta Aurelia to know they're dead. <laughs> I'm probably reading that incorrectly. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? What did I see here? Who is this? There we go. Stupefy you. All right. Who's hiding in the shadows? Oh, I <laughs> got you. All right, we need to find a big group, though. That's not uncommon for me. I say things in a weird way. Oh, there's a group of folks up there. There's just three. I don't know how many I need to hit it with. There was a mandrake, and what else was I supposed to hit? I think it was Depulso. I think I have to Depulso an enemy? Let me look really quick. I can't remember. Darn it. Oh, a thunder brew. It's a thunder brew. And I yell at you guys. I don't try to ever yell at you. I'm sorry if I ever yell at you. Oh, look at they're fighting over there. I won't rest. Okay, there's only one guy left. Okay, I had it on the wrong. How? And Fringo your butt. Oh, she makes it go. You're so full of baloney, Mike. <laughs> Okay, that's got to be something to pick up. Nope. Nope. It's just the bottom. FBI, I haven't put you on a milk carton yet. Wow. I do remember when that used to happen. That only happened for a very short period of my, my life. Okay, it looks like we're going up into this really big bad area. Or maybe it's just lit up because uh, that's where I'm supposed to be flying. Fun. It'd be really nice if y'all could just... Right. Rebellion. 
Revelio! Oh, see, there's something down there. Probably a spider. Spider mouth part. Kill that deer, go eat it. I don't think you can, but I have tried. <laughs> I did that off stream. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Come on. I'd really like more of you guys. Oh, that's a... That's, oh, shoot. You're a big one. Okay, cool. Well... Okay. Assignment's all finished. Yes! Okay, a Thunder Brew. Where is the Thunder Brew? Is this a thunder brew? Okay, I gotta get it on multiple enemies. So group up, guys. Group up, guys. Okay, I think it worked. Oh, wow. Thunderbrew actually lasts for a while, huh? That's pretty cool. Ow. Your cat is having a conniption fit because you won't let her in your lap. Dude, I totally get you. My cat is hiding from me because she knows, she knows it's time to get her medicine. Okay. Let's go fly around. Let's go fly a kite. Oh, I got pushed down. Up to the highest height. Gonna let me up? It does. Oh, look at this up here. Okay, okay. Are we ready to try this fight? Pop. Oh, there's a trail of Merlin. Woo! There we go. <laughs> wow. That was quite the speed boost. It was fun. Okay, so where do we need to go? We need to go way over here. <laughs> my cat, when I don't want to hold him, I just put him on the back of my chair. But unfortunately, this means that the back of my chair looks awful. Because every time I move, he grabs on. Oh, let's do this trial of Merlin. Or Merlin, right? Trial of Merwin the Magnificent. Slowly landing in the middle of this, this uh, camp here. Let's do this. This is kind of fun when you do this. I was hidden. The birds did. Sneak attack. I don't know if this is going to work, so we'll see. They're pretty densely. Where is he looking? Oh, he's above me. It's so dirty. He's got his antennas up. Okay, he'll forget. He won't notice when I come by and I also shoot him in the butt. Okay, let's see. This. Okay, we'll go around.
I should get like. What do you have in store for me this time? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it in a second. I love when she whispers it. Okay, I think, okay, I have been here before. And for you, sir, we shall do some ancient power. There go. Easy peasy, one, two, three. I don't think I've figured this one out, so this'll be kind of fun. I think it started. Did I start it? Guess I didn't. Okay, maybe I didn't know what a trial of Mer Merlin was. Back. So let's see. So now that we've got that, this was a new one that I've not seen before. I've seen some balls up here. Let's try to Accio them over. And here. Okay, there's one. <laughs> yes! I can't help it, Dr. Marshy. They were everywhere. See? I've been here before. <laughs> Alright, there's gotta be another one. I'm glad that we're figuring it out, though. Okay, let's see. I'm like, should I try to find it without Accio, or do I just Accio this? Or not Accio, but uh, Revelio. We're gonna Revelio it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, we've gotten two, so the other one must be out of the camp. <laughs> Does it say family friendly? It's PG-13. We're PG-13 now. I gave up on the family friendly. There were too many non-family friendly conversations happening. Come on. Oh, okay. Let's come. Ringo it. Okay, here we go. Get in there. Do 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 do. So tricky after all. That was an easy solve. That's the first time I've actually come across that particular puzzle, but that was pretty easy. <clears throat> Bit surprising, Merlin. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had that nickname, Marshy. So we won't talk about those days. We're handing out some butt whoopings. Okay, we'll use our broom. Is I can part about on my own time. But let's get from A to B. Woo! I can do this because I just focus on the tail. <laughs> Oh, here it goes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where's the start? Here it is. Let's get lined up for this.
Ooh. Ah! We missed it. Dude, I was going to try to get a rhythm up, but it did not work. I bet you if you could get them all that way, though, it would probably do an achievement. Oops, missed those ones. That's okay. Oh, no. That's it. There we go. Okay. Oh, what is this? I've never seen a butterfly. <gasps> Butterflies. Oh, I remember the quest with the butterfly. Let's see where we go. Okay, come on, ladies. Make up your mind. There we go. We got cabinets. Okay. So now we can return to Madame Kagawa. Let's go back to Madame Kagawa here. Wherever she is. Right here? Okay. Of course we don't have... Big lock over there doing some push ups for me. He and Sean are doing a push up challenge. So they're doing like 65 push ups a day. 125 push ups a day now. That's pretty impressive, baby. How's it feel? You don't even get sore? You show off. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. That's impressive, babe. 125 is doable. That's a lot. Listen, I get up, and then I get down, and then I get up again, and then I might get down one more time, and then I'm done. 50 was hard when you first started. You know, anything is hard until you do it. Right? Oh, there's a quest here. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... Oh, never mind. Shall <laughs> we begin? Mike. PG-13. Okay, let's do it. Let's yes, just try it. Why play? not? Then let's get summoning. Let's get summoning. She's probably going to kick my butt. Oh, dear. What is on there? What is that? Quicksand? See what it does to her ball. Okay. There we go. That was sensational. <laughs> Accio. Well, you got stuck in the quicksand both times. I don't know why. Let's see if we can get past hers. That might get too far. <gasps> oh, we did it. No. Okay. It didn't fall down. Ah. See if we can get this one. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I still win no matter what. Too hard, too hard, too hard. Ah, that's okay. You'll have to do better than that. that I still won. It, then. <laughs> I won. After your poor show against Natty and class, I thought I could beat you. It appears I overestimated myself. Wow. <laughs> that was my very first time. 
played well. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. All right. We did Summoner's Court. Kick some bootay. I love these kites up here. I don't know if you guys have checked these out, but look at there's a Slytherin, a Gryffindor, a Hufflepuff, which I think is supposed to be a honey badger. And then there's a Ravenclaw. Which I'm not quite sure why it's a Ravenclaw and it's blue. That's right. Honey badger don't. Okay, let's, uh, hang on. Let's see, didn't we finish one of our different quests? I know we did Professor, oh no, not I. Madame Kagawa. Did hers. We could also just take an invisibility potion on the way up. Because I never use them. Great. Yes. There we go. Seems so unnecessary when you've Welcome. got this. Have you finished your assignment? Now you see me. Now you don't. Yes. Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. A resto momentum. Okay. Movements. Let's see. We've got a click, a space, an F, and the other click. Okay. Got a different skill every time. Resto momentum. Okay. Ooh. Except. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much. Stop in the name of love. Perhaps before you leave here. That's it. Keep it up. Resto momentum. Well done. You are on your way to mastering a resto momentum. Okay. Oh, can talk to her. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes. What is it? Uh, the in class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant. Known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic. Often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu, if not for a bit of bad luck. I have that <coughs> feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Mm, and some things are in it. I should have known better. I made my own luck. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as tryouts for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. 
I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our team before we were to show them our skills. I'm not sure what that is. What is Felix Felicis? A potion? Also known as liquid luck. And it is illegal in all wizarding sports. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you told me. <laughs> Arrest of momentum! That's what she told That's what she said. Okay. Let's go find this other bell now. Okay, so we can get Lingardium Leviosa and Professor Sharp. Nice! We did them all. Let's go do this. We're pretty close to it. You can just wait. Oops. Can we go in from out here? Oops. There may not be an entrance. Darn it. I don't think there is. Here's to be just a Leviosa. They say it right. Do I need more more oomph? I love the daffodils. Man, this thing's been trying to tell me to go a different way for a long time, has That was weird. Well, I was telling uh, Glock about the silly things that the, the suits of armor will do. Like, they'll... There's one that was whistling the other day, and then... Uh, there were two standing next to each other, so the other one that wasn't whistling reached over and punched the one that was in the arm <laughs> until it stopped. Wonderful to see you again. Okay. Let's see. Got some Dittany. Let's talk to Professor Garlic. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Lingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. 
when executed correctly. All right, here we go. We got to do a click, a click, and a space and an F. Okay. There we go. I was a little worried about that. Wingardium Leviosa. The levitation charm, Wingardium Leviosa, can levitate and move objects. Control its position with your movement and use F, B, Q, E to fine tune its distance and rotation. Okay, so these are all the blocks that I've been seeing. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Okay. Rebellion. Oops. Okay, so what we probably want. Now, wait a minute. Is it just my Leviosa spell? Is now Wingardium Leviosa? Wingardium Leviosa. Try. Leviosa. Nope. Where am I missing it? Maybe it's because I'm anticipating that it's going to be one of these. Oh, here it is. It's blue. That's one. Okay. Let's put Lumos on this screen. Let's see. What would I, I would do a rest of momentum. I think I just need one movement spell, but it's kind of nice to use both. I just need to get used to swapping between them, I think. Okay, so let's see. So now we have... Okay. There we go. Get more than one. We stack them. <gasps> I stacked them. Oh, look, and I found a potion. Now I'm like, potions? Yes, I will pick up every box. Are there any more? Ooh. Revelio. Revelio that. Done. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. And we still have some, some Dittany growing here. But you know what I think it's time for? Let's talk to Professor Garlic. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. Dude, to be honest, if I weren't a librarian, I would want her job. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. I would never Shame say anything him, bad. But it worked out well for you. Mm. Well, never intentional. He never cared, but really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you're surprised how sensitive. <laughs> what did I do that was bad? At any rate. The trouble began one day when he cut into a wigging tree. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You know right. The, the marvellous creatures that resemble Jeez. twins. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. A I haven't even been paying attention to the conversation. Uh, for the they... professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor. Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had 
He claims by accident kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. That's the most comical. <laughs> Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt. <laughs> him, but I wow, she judged us. The cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and, well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did, and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. What is a Wigan tree? Oh, can I pick up this big particular blah, blah, blah? Excuse me, it is. I believe there are plants I might be able to harvest. May as well grab some of these. They're going to keep growing back. I'm going to keep using them. But I got to remember to use them more. <laughs> you thought you heard a specific word. Well, only good, happy words. Good, happy words. Be prepared. Okay, we have done those quests. This feels good because I'm finally getting all these different uh, quests done. And now that I'm doing all these, I'll be able to actually go ahead and levitate uh, a bad guy and then shoot him, which I've had to do for forever. Oh, and I think... I have everything on the same class. Let's see. Cast a pulse on a levitated enemy. That's perfect. Because look at I've got them on the same bar. Okay. I was looking at the time. I it may wrap up soon. I have so much fun playing this. And I have a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. I wish you could talk to the house elves. I feel like, uh, you know, you get to talk to, what's his name? It's Reek? Or Creep or something like that. Have you finished your assignments? I, I have. finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and Mazolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Defindo! And at the ready. Right. Focus. Defindo okay, let's see. You're not paying attention. F, F. Okay, we got this. I think I'm supposed to maybe hold the key until the next one? Hmm. I just good. tap it. it seems okay. Yes, yes, Defindo. This one? No, that's Depulso. The new one. It's so hard when I've unlocked. Oh, this one. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. My sister's photo. Some that really. 
Okay. It's a long text. It's like, I thought it was like a photo, but it's a screenshot. Like a huge long thing, so I'm going to read it in this. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. So slow. As I mentioned earlier, Defindo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. <clears throat> My allergies are all right. The cooldown on this is so long. But could I work it into a com a combination? I could. Okay, we are now going to go and we are going to cast also on a levitated enemy. So, let's see, sweeping the competition or competition a friend in need. We could do this. This looks like we're just turning it in. Conjuration spellcraft. The man behind the moons. Um... Talk to Adelaide Oaks. Ghosts of Our Love. I've never figured out. I have not figured out Ghosts of Our Love. But I know I haven't really been looking for candles by a bridge. And I need to. I think I did see him one time. And I can't remember who it is. So I think it's pretty close to the, the actual castle. Okay. The elf, the knapsack, and the loom. Upgrading my clothes with the enchanted loom went smoothly. I should let Deke know. Okay. Let's do that really quick because that's a quick turn in. And we can go to the room of requirement. This game has been so fun. As I go on, I'm starting to get a little sad that there aren't as many puzzles. <laughs> Having everything to find and go through and all the puzzles and all the different things going on at the beginning is a lot of fun. And I'm starting to do some of those things and find a lot of the things. So it's getting harder to find, but it's still a lot of fun. Okay, let's see. I don't think we have any unidentified here. Nothing to identify. Yep, I didn't no, think I so. Uh, what's his name? Deke? I was pretty close. I, I guessed Reek. Um, okay. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you, Deke. Oh? Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you, Deke. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay. Potions. Let's do a wig and weld. As Lord knows, I'm gonna get healed. Okay, let's uh, take the mallow sweet out and do some bitney. Grow some Dittany. But um let's see. Who have we got here? We got a new piece of armor. Not super exciting, I don't think. Let's see this here. What do we get? We got the anti-venom one. Okay. Okay. Sounds like an adventure. 
Daddy has decided that we're going to Hike keep, let's see. Uh oh, required Wingardium Leviosa. Required level 16. Attend astronomy class. Yay! In the shadow of the bloodline, Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. Ooh, should we do let's do Sebastian? Is his is a side quest? Ooh, right in here. I think this is going to take me into the hallway with the ballerina ogres. This is the only problem with going into something like the Room of Requirement. It's, and so it has to load. I'm like, I just want to stay in the open world and discover everything. No, Skippy, that was not, that was a stretch. That was not an invitation to get on me. And that doesn't mean that you got to keep clawing on to me to try to get on me. He knows when I'm trying to get him off of me. So he starts desperately, like, trying to claw on to me. Like, he can... If he just fights hard enough. Ooh. Lipendo. That's pretty cool. I'm curious, though. I don't remember seeing Flipendo on my... On my talents. Lipendo. They're <laughs> nothing. Yeah, I have uh, set up a really cool area right next to me here that's like, it's got a bed and then it's got like one of those unicorn shaped beds where they can like crawl in the mouth and then sleep in there. So it's like everything a cat would want. And they won't go in it. <laughs> okay. I didn't see necessarily anything with Flipendo. It doesn't mean there. It just not look. It appears we have a quest, a main quest right here. It's up. I mean, maybe we'll go to astronomy class. We'll go to astronomy class and then maybe we'll wrap up. For Oops. Wait. <gasps> Hi, Grimace. How are you tonight? Off on another adventure, are we? My day was pretty good. How about you? Okay, we're in astronomy class. We will always look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. Wait. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. That guy's going to say that to me every time he sees me. Okay, weirdo. That's good. I'm so glad to see you. I actually was thinking, I was like, oh gosh, I think that Grim's watch streak is going to be broken. So you've got it. I don't know why I even think about that, Grim. It's so weird. Ladies, Professor Shaw. Astronomy you break your watch divination. streak because you gotta take some you time for you go. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourself to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescope. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Yay! Let's go to the observation deck. We were talking about the night sky earlier. Still don't have your own. You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar.
Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. <laughs> Okay. There we go. <coughs> now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismiss. <laughs> Hello again. Brilliant class, wasn't it? I prefer astronomy over portions, don't you? Of course, we Ravenclaws tend to do well in any class. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Thank you, how kind. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. That sounded fishy. Okay. I, now, I think we gotta go up. Where is it telling us to go? That's dark, isn't it? Like, go right here. And then right here. <laughs> okay, it's confused. I think we gotta go down here. Oh, perhaps I'm confused. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Oh, me think he knows everything. He even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highlands. Perhaps that's what Professor Shaw was talking about. The constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. Okay, stones and constellations, Highlands. Stargazing as long as I could. Oh, Ooh. Well, good Sorry, guys, I'm trying to fix my mouse. I'm so serious, and my hands are too cold to use a telescope. It's a dog, isn't it? Okay. Perhaps it's right here. This is where we're at. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Hey, we've got a telescope now. A pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? I... Hey. Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. 
Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. <laughs> you mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Hmm. Good for your insight. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Stellar. I see what you did there, Professor. All right, let's find Amit. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And mm. it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Ooh. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone. Than... <laughs> well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Sounds exciting. I'm in. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? <laughs> Shall we? Let's do it, guys. It's a level 16 quest and we're level 20 something. So <laughs> maybe it's time we got done with the level 16 quest. Okay. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go then. All right, come on. Come on, Amit. Walk faster. Lumos. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be <laughs> here. It is good to leave the classroom. Like, it's not why you bully me out here at night, is it? <laughs> the Gobstones Club are cowards. <laughs> Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? <laughs> if you're sure. Okay, okay. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Do I get... I'm supposed to talk to this guy, or...? <laughs> yes, but it's all lies and slander. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Okay. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. It is not as tight. What is going on over here? Like, that is a weird setup. I don't know what was going What? Wait, there's. Oops. Amit. Oh, darn it. Could I ask you something? Not Amit. Oh, I meant um, it. R, not F. All right, let's ask. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Okay. And. Why the fascination Why with so the stars? fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Ooh. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Hey, stop talking to me. And Revelio. <laughs> a caged bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. Oh, wow. I love that it came with the backstory. I was looking at it thinking it was the weirdest. 
That made it my favorite. Okay, let's do this really quick and then we'll wrap up stream. Okay, we got some monies. Okay, we need to confringo this. Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Ahmed. And even if they were, we would bash them. Okay, here's... The oh, I have seen one of these. Okay. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Okay. Wait, do I zoom? Okay, W and S. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Okay, wait. Rotate A and D. I still feel like stargazing is all about I did it. Precision. <laughs> was right about the tables. Damn, You're right, Miss Dr. Dr. Roche. I know I've been Just obsessed with this said. game though. This is how I've and been playing it. Contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. I look forward to that. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. Yay. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, <laughs> really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. That's fun. So the other night, I was playing this this game, and I, Locke was like, it's 11 o'clock at night. And I was like, oh, we have to go to bed? And he was like, I'm pretty tired and I was like Incredible. okay <sighs> Never do get tired. and I was like okay let me go turn off my game and be an adult here I gotta be an adult and actually get to bed because I can't do and I uh, I sat down at my computer and I was like but I can just really quick finish this flying quest and then I just finished that flying quest so why don't I just go ahead and I also turned it into the teacher and get my new, my new, <laughs> my new spell, you know, and it's like all of a sudden you're like right back into being a giant nerd playing video games when you're supposed to be being an adult. So that's my problem. But I love this game. It's so fun. I, what was that? What was that? That was weird. I don't know what that was. Um, that one kid. Earth made a unicorn skin. What? Yeah. Right, we're gonna kill these guys and then we'll get off. Because we've got a Wingardium Leviosa them. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, why is it not working on? Okay. Okay, that was. It doesn't work that much. Okay. Okay, I don't get it then. Okay, hang on. We are going to these two skills. There we go. I just had to have them on the same bar. Oh, that was Incendio. That's a close range. Boom! One less poacher. 
There we go. Okay. Got some moonstone. We got some wigan weld. Yay, we got a stylish school uniform. So I have lots of new spells to play with. I have uh, lots of outfits that I need to go through and sell. And uh, I've gotten lots of stuff done. So I'm going to have lots of quests to kind of work on. That's true. Really? It's okay if I stay from streaming longer? Okay. Well, we'll stream a little bit longer then. Ah! I got permission to be a giant kid, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. It, why won't this let me interact with it? Perhaps I've already done it? Oh, I bet you this is something I've already done. Let's use our Confringo. Okay, and... Confringo. The Wingardium Leviosa sucks. We're taking that off our bar. We're putting that on, like, the bar with, uh... Merlin himself would be proud. Here we go. I know, I know, but you know what? I got permission, Marshy. I, like... Block came by and he was like, just keep playing. You've barely been on. And I'm like, yeah, I will keep playing. Thank you so much. We're going to Wingardium Leviosa is something different. So Wingardium Leviosa sucks. It, it, anything blue is like a pure utility. Keep it on one bar because this is all garbage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this right there. That's important. Um... But, okay, so how are we going to figure this out? We have got, what was right here? I'm trying to remember now. So we've got one, two, Depulso, Arresto, Momentum. Let's put Arresto, Momentum on this one. Or actually, let's do this. Let's do Defindo. Defindo. You see, I'm a grown man who doesn't need to answer to anyone. I stay up as late as I want. You know, but here's the thing. I, I appreciate my partner. Because sometimes I want to be a big kid all the time. And sometimes I take better care of it. What do you think we should do with all these little... Wait, did they just scroll up and go away? Aww. Is there maybe a secret if I clear all of them? I don't know if I killed them. Oh, I asked on one stream, has anybody ever seen lightning bugs like this? Like... Just where they're all over a field just is all lit up I've never seen a lightning bug in my life and I would love to yes in Maine do they really look like that oh man my face is so itchy having my allergy issues okay we're gonna go up more of a phenomenon. Yeah, I've never seen it. I would love to. Knowing our meat, he's likely studied here. Okay, why? How do I use the thing? Maybe he maybe this one's already done? Is that the one we did? That's probably the one we did. Derp. Derp derp derp. All right, let's see what else we've got. We've got some 
different stuff that we can take a look at up here. Um, let's go to Hogsmeade, sell some stuff, and we're going to go to the Brood and Peck because I've got a couple of little animals. We lived in a small town with a backyard that in April or May time, when it was dark, dark out, it looked like no noise fire, no noise fireworks show. I wish I could see that. I would love to live somewhere where it got dark at night. We were talking about that earlier and just how different the sky looks when it's really dark. And just those nights where you can lay out and look at the sky and all the colors in it. I would love to see. I guess with the lightning bugs, that would kind of ruin like the whole low light thing, right? I, I don't know how lit up they are. You Yes, I can imagine on the coast with reflection in the water. <laughs> if you have that. There are the waves. Oh, kitty. Gotta pet the kitty. We're only petting the kitty one time. Kitties always get pets, though. Let's see. What am I doing in here? Oh, I was going to go to food in the pack. Let's sell some of those animals. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. Hello. Oh. Welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a brats and hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair from a wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have them here. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Jericho feathers? always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Jerry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. <laughs> I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising. I suppose, acquiring those things. Oh, but such marvelous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words, never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why did they give her that snort? A treat to have you here. Uh, first time seeing a crescent moon rise off the ocean. I swore I saw it. That do you have to say sounds on? amazing. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I think we're looking to sell. Oh. I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself in... welcome. That's a blessing, though. Sometimes when you have those kinds of visions, I feel like that's such a blessing to, to be right in that <clears throat> and experience things like that. Oh, look, we got a new one. Okay, I'd love that more challenges are unlocking. Oh, 
Look at their so. I gathered him. <laughs> it's like, no, you can't. Don't try to steal the merchandise. Oh my gosh, look at him. <gasps> we gotta go look for some animals. Let's buy, uh, no, I have a few potions or a few, um, if I need to buy some seeds and I have to buy some stuff. I should start with the seeds, really. Go with this, I think this. Haircuts. Here, maybe? Lost for Emma. Right over here. Let's see. Please okay. Take your time looking about. Let's buy these. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Triple figs. Yay. Oh so should we buy some? I had you chasing butterflies all through the forest. Just no one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Okay. Let's go buy the other seeds. Because we need all the seeds anyway. I saw something. Maybe not. Oh. I think this is it? Nope. Just a house I've robbed. No. Oop. Thought it was this way. Oh. The proprietor of this abandoned shop is said to have used a shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation ended up for all intents and purposes, banishing it. <laughs> oh no. That's why it's abandoned. Okay, let's use our map and stop being silly. We want to go to Dogweed and Death Cap. What's up? Hey Luke, how are you? How was your day? What time is it right now? Is it like it's got to be pretty early in the morning, right? Oh, no, you're sick? Sorry to hear that. 5 a.m. there. I hope you're taking something to make yourself feel better. That never feels good. Oof. Let's get some Chinese chomping cabbage, but let's wait on these two. Too much pizza. Oh man, we have pizza for dinner tonight. We've been getting this, uh, it's a thin crust pizza and it has uh, spinach and olives and uh, feta and uh, chopped up tomato and lots of pepperoni. And it's so good. I love it. Well done, <laughs> Is it? Oh, yes. Thank you for the shout out. I had to go up. I was like, oh, no, did I miss it? And I did. Because when night pop popped up, I totally ignored it. My day is going okay. I'm here a little later than I normally would be. Um, But I, it was one of those things where... I, I'm just kind of having a good time, and so I'm kind of relaxing. My daughter right now is gone for two weeks, so it's kind of weird. It's hard on, like, she's to the age now where she doesn't really listen to me anyway. And I'm, I'm kind of letting her 
have her face a little bit. Um, but she is gone for two weeks. She's with her dad for summer. And so she's going to be back in two weeks. But it's kind of weird because she's gone. I feel like, huh. I don't have anything to be responsible with or about. Like, I get to be completely irresponsible and not be a bad influence. <laughs> but, I mean, me being completely irresponsible is like doing ridiculous things like staying up late playing video games. <laughs> hey, boss, how are you? It's good to give a short leash at that age. My parents helicoptered <laughs> and it strained our relationship for a very long time. She thinks I'm real pushy because I actually mom her. So I tell her all the time, I'm not your friend, I'm mom. And that means that sometimes I have to, you know, I have to enforce rules. And I tell her it's not like I want to, so don't be like that. <laughs> That's like the worst I am. I'm actually not, I'm not bad at all. Oh wait, we don't need the boy and the beast thing. So I do need to put my feeding station in there. Let's see, a dung composter, a hopping pot. I want the potting table. Damn, my allergies are just crazy. Five small pots. Three small pots, three medium pots. Two medium pots. Let's see. Oh. Maybe we'll do two medium pots. Nothing like finding just the right. Thing. Okay. I said to your, into my daughter, I am not your friend, I'm your dad. Did not go over well with her. <laughs> You know, I agree with you though. Sometimes you have to you have to be the enforcer even when you want to. Maybe everything in your heart says you want to be your other friend, but sometimes you have to be that voice of reason. Otherwise they're gonna do silly things. Your mom said no to me doing a lot where it made me a social loner. I try not to do that. And and I noticed that when I was I uh, a little bit you know earlier on when i was a younger mom i uh, i was afraid for her to do silly things like i uh, play too rough or anything like that because i was always afraid she was going to get hurt and i realized after a while i was like i'm stopping her from having fun as a kid so i try not to get in the way of her being a kid and that's changing she's not just a little baby anymore she doesn't need me to do everything for her and she's even past the point where she's even a little girl you know now she's at the stage where she's a young lady so it changes over the years but you know they still need guidance plus i lecture everybody anyway apparently i've been told i i lecture quite a bit <laughs> yep see there we go exactly luke 13 those are rough ages <laughs> okay we need to go back to hogwarts let's go to the room of requirement really quick oh shoot i should have gone to go look for animals and then come to the room of requirement Ugh. Darn it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream too much longer, though, guys, because it's 830 and so <laughs> it's getting close to my bedtime. It's old lady tuck in time. We'll play for a little bit longer. OK. So let's see. Oh gosh, what do we do? It's the transfiguration. So let's do this. Let's just move the. Should just make. Nope, I'm going to leave that as well. 
Okay. So now we can go here and go to two. Okay. Do you have some new illustration of a tree? A diagram of astrological elements. Oh, these are pretty cool. Let's check out some of these. So let's do an illustration of a tree. See what this looks like. Quite like it. Okay. Okay. Oh, now this one's off center. Oh, look it. Star based tree illustration or beast diagram. Okay. Hang on. We want to change this. It's a little off. That's maybe a little high. They're close, though. This is where you guys get to see my OCD full display. That's close enough. I'm good with that. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. Go plant your seeds. The biggest one was not dating in high school. I fought with my mom all the time on this one. I credit it with how I am now. Oh, yeah. Time to go la la. At 9.30 at the latest. Yes, don't push it. That's right. Never learned how to bond or deal with relationships. I, oops. Okay. Or to be single. Be single. People are crazy and I want no part of that. Nothing wrong with it. Prefer to be single too. You know, I would say there are a lot of people in the same boat with you. So, and it's okay. It's good to be single. Good to be comfortable with being single. Okay. I thought we did more pots. These are all small pots. Where's my big pots? Oh, okay. Oh, <gasps> wait. Okay, let's see. Let's see what these look like. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Where are we even going to put it? Hang on, let's see what the other ones look like. That looks ridiculous. We're definitely going to go with the eclectic. It's a Moroccan feel. <gasps> what? Wait, wait, wait. Could we do more than one? What? Okay, wait. Hang on. I got to check out this really quick. Okay. Okay, so this is not... I thought maybe there would be tabs on all of these, but it does look like there's some tabs here. So you can have hopping pots. Okay, so that just has one. We do have some decoration. Not a huge amount, but we do have a few. What do we have here? We have scientific cabinets. That's it. Okay. It's not counting those. That's pretty cool, though. A Kneesel statue? Wait. That's a Kneesel. Oh my gosh, we're going to put it over here by the pot. There we go. And the kitty, look at the kitty plates and the Kneesel statue. I love it. <laughs> okay. 
so now that we have this, let's plant some plants. We've got some mallow sweet. We've got triple figs. We need those. I'm going to plant actually four of those right now. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are talking so fast. Hang on, I gotta catch up. Yeah, I feel the majority of people are just draining me and not adding to my life. That's why you have spicy vodka sauce with meatballs. <laughs> it's just the beginning. <laughs> I had... Uh, a relationship not that kind of guy who went to stay with someone forever i feel like single and to hang up girlfriends omg becky i will play maybe hogwarts legacy soon as well dunya but okay <laughs> get on that broom and fly you know i should Rebellion. okay hang on hang on hang on i wanted to put a feeder out here could decorate their area let's give them a bench wait what can it look like oh let's make it more natural they're animals they don't want ornate benches they want logs put another bench over here there you go there you go guys A fence? Okay, a stone fence. So if I wanted to fence them in, I could. Okay, cool. Beast items. Here we go. This is what I want. Oh my gosh, it's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, are they going to be fed all the time? Oh my god. Wait. Let's do... We're gonna put our... Brushing. Okay. We don't need to feed them. Oh no, they're just all fed. So that is super helpful. Come on, fly and just make the babies and babies. No! I actually, uh, I need them because I use them for upgrading my gear <laughs> and that's the truth okay let's feed you i think as long as they are fed and loved they must produce their fur oh there's reducey Okay. Okay, reducey. Calm down. Gotta be this one. Okay. Let's make sure we got got him. We got the puff skeins. Nice. We got the birds. That one. <laughs> this before I go. Too bad you can't eat them. No, we don't want to eat them. 
And thank you for feeding that dragon. That dragon has been bred twice, fought, <laughs> fed. It's happening. It's happening in action packed, action packed kind of day. So we're finally going to be able to make thunder brews and focus. Po oh no, we don't have. Cute. I thought I needed triple for the triple figs. For okay. <laughs> Luki Beat Sky says, Hi, Donnyeth Bully. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of funny, huh? I, d I think it only says hi. I don't know if you can make it say anything. I might be able to make it say something. Um. Okay, let's go to the world map. We gotta find some critter places. So let's see. These are jabber knolls. Giant, yeah. giant purple toads. Let's get some giant purple toads. No, that's not a rar. That's a big rar. Like a kitten mew. That's a rar. I did some trolling on Instagram the other day. I had so much hate towards. Why were you trolling? Pause. Someone reminded me recently, and I needed to be reminded. Long ago, no doubt. But if you have nothing nice to say, better to say nothing at all. <laughs> oh, here's a pleasant surprise. I'm petting a cow. <laughs> I love cows. Pretty, they're pretty interesting creatures. I wouldn't say intelligent, but they are cute and funny. It's the internet. It, but you know what? That's the thing, Dr. Murray. We all started giving poops. Then poops would be given, right? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's the golden rule. Okay, let's solve this puzzle. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh! Huh! Okay, so there are these cairns on top. Uh, perhaps we knock those down? It doesn't appear to be the case, but... If it's wrong, it'll reset. I'm a really bad aim with this. Let's see. You make me hungry now. And I wrote in comments, beef, it's what's for dinner. And I started to get hate comments for two days. It's the golden rule, but it's not how the world works. I, I get that. But that's the sad thing right now. So I, you know what, no matter what, and it doesn't matter what people give to me, I'm going to try to do my best because there's also the quote, be the change you see in the world. Right? So I would rather see good things. Make some breakfast. I hope you make something good. I'm going to shoot these and hope that something happens. What if we bring Guardian Leviosa? This is how I solve puzzles, by the way. <laughs> Let's see. Let me change these out. Wingardium Leviosa! Okay. Wingardium Leviosa. That was not. Repairo. 
They have a sheen to them. Maybe there's something I need to interact with nearby. Oh, Luke, that's totally okay. I'm actually not going to be in Discord while I stream. But thank you for the offer. Reset it. You think it's broken? Did I, did I break it? Maybe the Cairns were supposed to do something different. I don't think you can reset it. I think if you screw it up, it just resets. Let's see. Just curious what the puzzle is. I'm trying to compare them to like the, the pillars over here. But I don't know. Let's see. I would think it to pull so. Guardium Leviosa. This one, we may not have the skill for then. We just may not have whatever we need to solve this one. I've run into a few of these. There's a broken rock you saw. Where? Like a cairn? There's some dude's head here. Huh. Well, I sometimes I just run into this where I just literally don't have the spell to solve it yet. Oh, try the head? I'll try it. These ones have a spell. I feel like it's going to be a purple. Like a repulso. Yeah. So I, I think sometimes I just don't have the skill for it. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I still have to go and get the actual spell that it would be needed to solve it. And then I'll be able to solve it. That's happened to me a few times. Which is okay. Because I think once you put the Mallow Sweep there, then it keeps that. Like, it's like, okay, you got this. But what we really want here is this giant purple toad then. So let's get on our wand or our little finger. I'll fly around more. Oops. Oh, I must have accidentally... Oops. Oops, shoot. Sorry, guy. <laughs> Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. <laughs> I didn't mean to accidentally blow him up or almost blow him up. There we go. 
We rescued it, guys. We rescued it. Are they all female? Sometimes I notice in an area they're all the same gender. Okay. Let's look at our map really quick. Let's see if we can find any other little animals really quick. We could go do this really quick. If we... Let's do that really quick. Rescued him. It was rescued. Listen, don't question it. That animal was starving to death. We had to save it. Oh, it's way up here. We don't, we don't blow any. Please, Luke. Okay. This one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Okay. 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 Wait. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we need to... Probably made a mistake doing that. Because it's missing the third. There we go. The Centaurus. That was actually a difficult one. Thank you. Okay. May as well grab this while we're here. And we will use our, our little horse here. I'm waiting for when I get a griffin mount. I know I've started the quest because I've seen Buckbeak. Or whatever it is. It's not Buckbeak here, but it's something else. Buttermilk or whatever her name is. Oh, I went with Ravenclaw. When I took the, the sorting test, uh, it sorted me in Ravenclaw. What are you up to now? So I was like, well, you know, that's my, that's my house. So I'll play, <laughs> I'll play my house. It was my first playthrough. And so I thought, man, we're going to do that. Um, <clears throat> so I would say, you know, do whatever you want, whatever, you be whatever class you want or whatever house you want, rather, not class, but. Okay, let's see. We were looking for some good animals. Well, Slytherin, you could totally be Slytherin in this. And the nice thing is, is that, oh, hippogriffs. Uh, Slytherin are actually kind of cool in this one. The Thestrals. I can't remember if we have Thestrals already. 
We're kind of closer to the Thestrals. Let's go check out the Thestrals first. Let's go here. Okay. Ending unavailable. No, get off there. Walk up there like a noob. Oh. Are they going to fight me? Here. Am I supposed to like sneak up on them? Comes. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go invisible. Hang out right here. Let's see. They can't see me. So if I go right here, maybe they'll come back. See one here. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! That was bad luck because it's like I had it and then it just, for whatever reason, decided, like, meh. Let's try one more time. Maybe I have something in my talents. Hang on. That'll make a rest of momentum last longer. Oh, wait, not inventory talent. The. The pull. The finger. Barda. Transform. Bellio. Well. Okay. Let's see. This would give me a melt, so it can't be easy. There it is. Do call a fight, won't you? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I just gotta wait. See if she comes back. See if I still have the points for taming her. Oh, 
Oh. Oops. Oops. Okay. Uh-oh. We're going to get into a fight over here. Well, the thing is, though, you got to catch them, too. Because you, you have to use this bag to catch them. Okay, let's see. There's one here. There we go. Nice. Dang it. it be difficult. I mean you no harm. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Doom? We're rescuing animals here. We just got our first mount. <laughs> let's see uh we have the hippogriffs let's not go for the hippogriffs right now the puff skein doesn't sound great let's see what do we have here puff skein uh probably won't know where the astrology tables are over here and go and look at them not seeing any other critters up oh, right here. Let's see a jobber knoll. Let's see a niffler. That's all that we've got so far. We're gonna have to figure out some more areas then. Let's see puffskin. Puffskin. These are other than the hippogriff. All right, let's try it then. Let's go. We'll see how hard this is. <laughs> then we'll go back to the room of requirement and then <laughs> we'll stop the stream. Or we'll just stream for another half an hour. I mean, who knows? You playing some last epoch? Are you, how are you liking your character? I know you were doing a necro. Are you still doing the necro? <laughs> I didn't say that an hour and a half ago, Mike. You're right. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I've been having fun with you guys, so. It's been fun hanging out. We are going to go, let's see. This is going to be a mess. Come to think of it, months ago I had a break. Started once, started once. Oh, there they were. Let's pretend like we weren't really going there, and we're going to do the mic method. Okay, I've I've run into this place before. Now, do they come in different colors? Male. They look exactly the same. Oh no, you don't. Okay. Let's see if it comes back. Oh no, you don't get to keep credit for that. So really the only way is to sneak up on it when it's lying down and catch it. Something like that. So lie down. Get all comfy there. Okay, why did I hit that? Urgh. 
Let's go do this astrology real quick. Like creeping up to it that we're not seen. Knowing our meat, he's likely studying. <laughs> okay. Let's see, we need to make this smaller. There we go. Yay! Now give me a hippogriff. Still not reset. There it is. No! Ah! <laughs> Oops! Okay, let me actually put this on a fighting. This is a different kind of a wolf. They all dead? <laughs> well, I don't think he was expecting that. All right. Let's go back to the room of requirement. Or actually, let's just see really quick if I can just... Now that I've got them in my bag... Why? <laughs> I mean, come on! I caught them! I wonder if I can let them go in the room of requirement? Hogwarts. Let's see. So you played this before, Mike, right? Oh, no, no, no. You said you've just seen people, right? You mentioned that. Yeah. Oh. This is a great game. It's been way more fun than I ever anticipated. Okay. Now, let's let our animals out. Okay, can we put them here? No, my species limit reach. Take the pup skin. Wait. How do I move them? F. Professor Howen will never believe this. Okay. That is so silly. Take the nipplers out. Look at that. Oh. What's eating that? Hey, I got a hippogriff feather. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty cool. So it's good to have a lot of one species, it seems. Good to kind of stock up on whatever species you need. 
but all right guys well i am going to uh i'm gonna wrap up stream there it's been a lot of fun though so um i don't think anybody's streaming Not really. Nobody that I know is uh, streaming. Nobody that I see. So we will just wrap up stream tonight. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really appreciate everybody hanging out. And uh, hope you had fun. And I'll see you guys again on Saturday morning. Have a great week.